Once you've finished collecting your sweeps, 10 to 20 sweeps per location in your field, it's important then to empty your sample out of the net into something where you can count the insects that are present. So we usually use a, uh, a clear plastic bag and just dump the contents carefully into the bag. And then we can freeze that sample so we can look at what's in the sample later without everything flying away. Don't be overwhelmed by the amount of things that could potentially be in the net. A lot of those are probably going to be neutral or beneficial species, uh, like green lacewings, parasitoids, we've got lots of parasitoids, flies, which are often pollinators and some can be predators as well. And then there might be some of the pests that you're looking for in particular. Count the number of insect pests that you're looking for very carefully so that you can get a very good estimate of what is present in your field. When you're counting what is present in the sweep sample that you've taken, you don't have to identify everything that you find. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of species that are not the pests that you're looking for, so focus on counting the number of pest insects. Also keep in mind that economic thresholds for sweeps are based on the number of insects per sweep that you've taken. So it's important to count the number of insects in the net and then keep in mind how many sweeps that you took to collect that many insects when you're calculating what the economic threshold is.